Good morning, everybody. It's Wonderful Wednesday, and uh, man, let's rejoice and be glad. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. I noticed one thing, that I cannot talk without my <laughs> without my hands, and so, uh, you know, I just, it's, it's just, it's, it is what it is. Amen. And so, uh, but let's do rejoice, because this is the day the Lord has made. Man, I tell you what, 2020 is almost over. 2021 is coming around the bend, and uh, man, we're looking forward to a great, great a uh, year and got hope and expectations uh, uh, for this coming year. And man, I'm praying for you. You pray for me. And uh, we'll just see what God brings uh, this coming year. Got plans for the church, but uh, hey, we're not all about that this morning. Let's get the two minutes started. You know, <clears throat> we really are obsessed with taking care of our um taking care of ourselves and finding food to eat. And, you know, I, I, because on my mail route, uh, now that I'm back and boy, man, <laughs> what a joy that was to be back and done at three thirty yesterday at home, uh, almost by four, I ran around and did a couple of errands home by four needed first day. I already had to have breaks, you know, don't worry about me and breaks, man. I've got it down and it's a simple thing, but you know, and so it's just a joy. And I got to go to Bible study last night and I uh, hadn't done that in forever. And, and boy, it was just great. And so by the time I got home from Bible study, I changed breaks time I, and went to Bible study. And by the time I got home, I probably would have just been coming home from West Frankfurt. And so Hallelujah. <laughs> I can, I'm able to do all of that stuff now. But you know, I and so out on the mail route, there's no really no place, no restaurant or nothing like that. And I don't really even take a lunch break. Yesterday, I stopped for maybe five and at the most 10 minutes just to eat my lunch uh, because it's just hard to eat what I had and ride. And so, you know, as we, and I'll probably do that again today, but I, I take a lot of time putting all that together. I spend 30 minutes, you know, at least putting my lunch together and uh, getting ready. You go, wow, man, you know, it's just, a, well, it's not just a sandwich for me. I got to have this elaborate thing and it's ridiculous. It's gone, it's gotten out of control. But it just reminded me this morning of, of our devotion and our quiet time and reading that scripture where the disciples walk upon Jesus. Jesus has just talked with the lady at the well and and, and told her about the living water, and she's run off to tell everybody in the in the the village about Jesus that the Messiah has come. And you know it's really exciting. And so the disciples walk up because where have they been? They've went to town to find something to eat. They were hungry and they needed some nourishment. And they come back and they see Jesus talking to this woman. They're going, oh my goodness, what, what, you know, and they were too nervous and too afraid to ask. And, and they probably should have asked and said, Lord, what do you, you know, could, what are you teaching? Because we want to ask that question ourselves sometimes. Lord, what are you teaching us? And then they come to Jesus and they say, and they call him rabbi, which is a disciple. You know, they were his disciples and he was their teacher. And uh, man, we're going to look at 2021 for Grace Church. It's going to be a year of discipleship. And so they come to him and they say to him, uh, 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 Jesus, here, you need something to eat. And Jesus says, you know what? I find my nourishment, find my nourishment in doing the will of God. Wow. <laughs> you know, here are the disciples, here am I, all obsessed about getting my lunch ready. And they were all obsessed about finding something to eat. And Jesus says, listen, that's not really what's important. What's important is finding God's will for your life and doing the purpose that God has for you. If we put as much time and effort into getting our food and finding something to eat and our comforts and our leisure as we put into serving the Lord, man, just imagine what God could do with our lives. Imagine what God could accomplish through us. Imagine how that we could, you know, I don't know where you live. I live in Metropolis. Imagine what Metropolis could have. But even in the midst of COVID, God can still use us to reach people and to help people. And so this morning, I'm urging you, you know, just to think about how that you can serve God and put your focus and your energy into finding God's will this coming year. Amen. I'm going to. Man, I hope you will too. And we'll just ride this journey together and see what God has for us. Amen. So excited about it. I hope you are too. Hey, we'll see you next time. Bless you. Love you.